Hey guys and welcome to No Recipe Required. I'm Dave. We're going to do a, a meal kit review for you. This is actually the second one I've done from Takeout Kit. These guys are all focused on um, uh, more ethnic, exotic foods. The, uh, the boxes come uh, shelf stable, so actually this one I got a couple weeks ago. Just stuck it into the, uh, into the pantry until today. This recipe is for Indian buttered chicken and basmati rice. Um, really looking forward to this one and trying this one out because this is the first time I've tried packaged chicken. This is the uh, you know, same concept of, of tuna. Doesn't need to be refrigerated. This says uh, white chicken cuts. We're gonna see how it, uh, how it tastes. You know, if anything in here, this is what I'm most concerned about tasting, uh, tasting good. We've got all of our flavor packets here unpacked. We've got some um, tiki marsala spice blend, some salt, some coconut milk, some tomatoes, some ghee, some rice, the chicken. We're good to go. Ultimately, I'm going to see how, um, how hard, how easy this is to, uh, to make, and then does it taste any good? Let's go ahead. We'll go through the process. We'll cook it. We'll taste it. See how it is. And, um, well, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get started on our Indian butter chicken. This is our uh, basmati rice, and actually it looks like quite a bit of rice. What uh, the instruction cards are telling us to do is rinse the rice out two or three times. I don't do this personally. I'm not entirely sure I get the reason why, but we're gonna do it. It says just essentially put it in the pot like this, rinse it off in some water. The water is gonna become kind of cloudy. Drain the water off and then do it Again, once we do that, we're not going to watch the whole thing because that's kind of boring. Once we do it again, we're going to add two cups to this um, pan and get it on the uh, on the heat. All right, guys. So I rinsed my uh, rice off twice. Then the directions have us adding two cups of water to the um, to the pot. They got this um, packet of Himalayan pink salt, which is pretty cool. I've used this before. It says add half of it. To the rice and then it also said add half of our ghee which again this ghee oh, my spoon's a little too small we're gonna go we're gonna go in with the other side ghee is uh, is clarified butter um, so that looks to be about half we're gonna put the heat on I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer cover it and then um, let that rice cook for about 20 minutes okay we're gonna start opening some of our packets from takeout kit here this one is a, uh, a package of dehydrated onions, which we're gonna rehydrate. Um, we've got a little bowl here. It says to break them apart. No, it doesn't say break them apart. It says um, put them in a bowl. I'm gonna break them apart. They're awfully light. They smell, they smell like dehydrated onions, like onions. Um, it says add a, um, a quarter cup of water to them. And we're just gonna let those sit for a minute or two. Just rinse the hand off. And then um, we're gonna start opening, uh, opening our can of tomatoes. I'm not gonna show you that. We're gonna open our um, coconut milk. And it says to open and drain our chicken. I am gonna show you that because you might very well be, oops, let me grab my strainer here. Curious as to what this chicken looks like. I am curious, I've never had packaged chicken like this. It definitely, has a little bit of water, a little bit of moisture in there. Uh, and it looks, honestly, I'm not even entirely, yeah, that's definitely cooked chicken. You can tell by the feel of it. Little bits and pieces here, maybe um, you know, a quarter inch cubed, some bigger, some smaller. I'm gonna go ahead, take this, I'm gonna let it drain, I'm gonna toss and discard the liquid, I think. Um, and then we're gonna open up the rest of the stuff and we're gonna come back. My rice is cooking. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the rest of our cooking. Now, this is that ghee and you'll notice it's liquid now because I just put it in the microwave for about uh, 10 seconds or so. Warms it up, it then turns into butter. It's then really easy to get out of the jar. We're gonna add that into the pan um, that we're gonna cook our, um, our butter chicken in. Um, over medium heat, this is our onions. It doesn't say to drain the liquid off the uh, rehydrated onions, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to get these in there, and it says to saute these over medium heat for about two minutes, stirring quickly, and I'm just going to kind of let it simmer there. We're going to come back in just a minute. Okay, onions have been going now for 
at least two minutes or so. We're going to add in, this is our Marsala spice blend. And then we're also going to add in um, these, this chili powder, powder, Kashmiri chili powder. It says it's pretty spicy, so go easy on it. I'm going to go, I'm going to add about half of it. It, um, it wisely says you can always add some more. I also really like this step. This is a step where um, you know you kind of toast the spices. It gets them more fragrant. And we're just going to do this for about a minute or so. And then we've already opened our um, tomato and our um, coconut milk. We're going to come back and add those in just a second. All right, so our spices have toasted now for just a minute. We're going to add the can of tomatoes that they sent us. We're going to add the little box of coconut milk that they sent us. It's nice and thick. There we go. We're going to add the chicken that has been drained off into the mix as well. And then there's just a couple more things again that they sent us. The card reminds you, so this is coconut sugar. We're just going to get these packets in. You could use your own proteins for this as well. If you, uh, if you want to add something different, you can. Ah, coconut sugar, that's interesting. Is Let me show you what we're looking at here. It's brown, it almost looks like, um, like brown sugar. How are they? Almost a brown sugar taste, I'd say. So there's the coconut sugar, and then this is the rest of the um, pink Himalayan salt. So we're going to stir this together. It is obviously a stewy consistency. We're going to look for all these flavors to kind of blend together. It's got a wonderful kind of pink color to it. Once we get these stirred up, we're just going to bring it up to a simmer and let it go for about 8 to 10 minutes. Around that time, um, our um, rice, rice should be ready. All right, so my um, my chicken still has a few minutes to go, but my rice has been going for about 20. I'm going to give it a little taste. That actually, it's it's pretty much perfect. Um, just could use maybe another minute or so. I'm going to go ahead and take. I'm going to kill the heat. The residual heat in here is going to continue to steam it. Right before we serve it, we're going to fluff it up. With, uh, with the rice, with the, sorry, with the fork. All right, so I let our buttered chicken work for about eight minutes or so. The, um, the card gives you a really good tip of um, letting it simmer without the lid. If it's too, um, it's too thin and you need to thicken it up, or you can always add a little moisture to it, um, or some water to it if you need it to thin out. I'm gonna taste it for seasoning. Um, so I'm going to do two things. One, remember I only added a little bit of our hot chili. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of it because it's not super hot. I'd like a little bit more bite to it. And I think it could use maybe another pinch of salt and pepper. I don't know if pepper is, pepper wasn't in the recipe at all, but I'm a big fan of tasting before serving. This, um, this consistency looks really good to me. So what I'm going to do is just let this, um, let that last bit of um, chili powder mix in, and I'm going to take the rice. We'll set this aside. That's essentially done. We got our rice here. It is fully cooked. We're going to take the fork and just kind of fluff this up a little bit. It's a lot of rice. This is clearly, clearly, I think enough for at least four people or so, three or four people for sure. Um, so let's go ahead and serve this up. All right, let's go ahead and serve up our Indian butter chicken. I've got a little bowl here. I'm going to throw our basmati rice down, make a little hole for it in there, and then this is our butter chicken. The chicken is definitely kind of falling apart on us. We'll get two even ladlefuls there. It smells, still smells great. The chicken is definitely kind of breaking up a little bit on it. We can give you a, a nice little look there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, snap a picture or two, and then um, uh, let's go ahead and give it a taste. All right guys, so we're done with our um, takeout kit, Indian butter chicken. It took me about uh, 25 minutes to make it. 
the um, the rice, which I've already tasted, um, is actually cooked perfectly. Tastes nice, tender. Individual strands, all of that is quite quite nice. Let me go ahead and try the um, the chicken. And that is um, that's surprisingly tasty too. I um, it definitely needed that uh, you know that last hit for me of uh, of chili powder, salt and pepper, um, kind of finished it up. But it's got a uh, it's got a really rich flavor. The chicken is um, you know it's it's tender. I think that's as much the uh, the packaging as it is the cooking process or anything like that. But all in all, I think this is a tasty dish. Um, I'm actually really impressed. Takeout kit, I'm going to give you a thumbs up on this one. I highly recommend you guys give this one a try. When you do, let me know how it goes in the comments, and I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required. All right, so that was Takeout Kit's Indian Buttered Chicken. Actually, really quite good. It exceeded my expectations. Who knew that chicken in a pouch could be so tasty? Actually, it wasn't the chicken. It was all that great seasoning flavors in here. It was really easy to make. It took me less than 30 minutes, so I'm going to highly recommend you give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.